I'm standing outside Meadow Lake Provincial Court, where sentencing is underway for the youth who is convicted of two counts of first degree murder, two counts of second degree murder, and seven counts of attempted murder in the January 22, 2016 school shooting in Laloche. Today, court heard an agreed upon statement of facts that lays out the sequence of events leading up to and on January 22nd. Court heard that the youth shooter, who cannot be identified under the Youth Criminal Justice Act, had an iPhone and an iPad and he would use them to search things related to school shootings and firearms. Court also heard that in September 2015, months before the shooting, he had been sitting with a friend in the canteen and talking to him about shooting up the school. The friend had thought that it was a joke. Also today, court heard powerful victim impact statements from people in the community who talk about the repercussions of that shooting even today. They talk about the pain they still face, they talk about the anger some people experience, and they talk about how people in that community are always going to be needing to find a new normal. Tomorrow in court, the courtroom expects to hear the rest of some victim impact statements that will further outline how people in the community continue to hurt months after the incident.